today is Friday. It's kind of crunch time because I really have to get these wholesale orders out and finishing them up today so I have a lot of work to do. But I've been um, thinking of how for this fall, like really ramping it up as far as marketing, getting more people in the door. So I've been looking at um, how to do more visual merchandising for the store, kind of make things look cool. So during the holidays and everything, like window displays are really great marketing, especially for streets, um, for people walking by and stuff like that. So I had an idea to do a window display for this kind of fall Halloween season and I'm seeing stores are already putting out Halloween products so I don't feel like I'm too early now um, but I was thinking like what could I do to really like draw some attention in and I was thinking of a Stranger Things um, <clears throat> kind of themed area since that's really popular right now and I'm a fan of the show mind you um, so I was thinking and it's really inexpensive to decorate i have some ideas for what i can do um for the stranger things setup so let me kind of show you my vision here so this is the window i painted for spring and so i'm going to be erasing that and then maybe doing um i'll have to put a picture but you you know if you've seen stranger things you know how in joyce's house she has like the floral wallpaper with the alphabet with the um, Christmas lights so I can definitely do something like that here and maybe just do um, I hope you can see maybe do like a pole or something and then hang that kind of decoration from here so maybe I can like just get fabric um, and paint it with the alphabet and then do the string lights running across and then at the top I can put something like stranger scents or stranger i don't know something about stranger things at the top like in the stranger things font and then have that there and then maybe i'm not sure i'm gonna do this yet um but maybe have like products where people can see products or something i'm not sure so with me doing this i'm not sure what the response is going to be because it's really not the demographic of the town um, the, a lot of the people that do come in here are um, older than me some are a lot older than me uh, hardly kids come in here so i'm not sure i mean there are a whole bunch of you know there's a high school i know there for, for sure there are quite a few kids in town so maybe if i do the proper advertising or something um maybe i can get some of that demographic in here but this is just like a representation of me so i'm not going to do something just to kind of because it aligns with the town better i think i just would rather like do something that i want to do even if it doesn't bring a whole bunch of thing people in because i just want to do it and see what i can do like this is my store to kind of make the display and then i don't have a huge budget for um the decorations but like i said i don't think stranger things needs a huge budget i think with a good window window painting job um, and a little imagination we can do some really fun things but that is the plan and we're gonna see how that pans out okay. so i am on um orientaltrading.com this is a really great website for decorations and they actually have 80s themed stuff um, they do have an 80s themed decorating kit that comes with pretty much everything, but that is $225 and I don't like everything in this kit. So I don't think it'd be worth me getting that, but I'm going to put a picture. But I think what I really like from this kit is the Rubik's Cube decor, which they're selling that for... Uh, they're selling it for $124, but to be honest, I think I can make that out of boxes. So maybe I'm going to take that as inspiration and just get some boxes, um, cube boxes, and then just kind of make that myself because I'm not paying $124 for that. But one thing I may buy from here is the big um, cassette tapes. I think that'd be really cool because music is a big part of Stranger Things if you've ever watched the show. So they do have these 20 inch um, cassette tapes that you would hang from the ceiling. So I'm going to put a picture here, but I think it'd be really cool to like have the cassette tape and then you could do the name of the artist so you could do Metallica or you could do Kate Bush those were really big parts of Stranger Things so I think that um, I'm gonna buy that for sure and then just DIY the Rubik's Cube idea so that's cool we're getting getting some ideas some juices flowing
But this is um, an artist on FAIR who drew some Stranger Things artwork. So we're going to uh, display these. And actually, I had a customer early who, earlier who saw me like receiving this order and then they were like, um, <laughs> I need some of these. So we have all sorts of stickers. Now I do have to find some way to display these stickers. So I'm kind of kind of look, I'm going to kind of look around to see how I can display these. But here's what we have. So we have number one here. Um, these were the only greeting cards that I bought. I thought these were really cool and there weren't any stickers of number one. Um, so yeah, but then we have Argyle stickers. We have waffle stickers. And then, um, oh, I forget his name. It starts with a V. I can't think of his name right now. We got this guy. And then 11 with Eggo Waffles. And then these are really high quality vinyl stickers. They're not just like matte paper. They're actually vinyl. So you could probably just stick these on a water bottle or something. Um, we got Steve. I ordered, like, what do we got here? We've got Hopper, and then I ordered a lot of Eddie because I knew that was going to be people's favorite. The um, Rubik's Cubes. Now, they look pretty good from afar, but don't get too close because it does look a little bit homemade, which is not bad. These are just going to be props. Um, they are very inexpensive to make. Originally, I wanted to find square boxes and spray paint the boxes black that was my original idea but walmart didn't have any square boxes they were all like odd shapes so i just bought this um, foam board here and then cut 15 by 15 um, squares and then made a cube out of that and then we just used construction paper to make the little squares for the rubik's cube so it did take longer than i expected but it came out decent enough for us to use it and it wasn't 124 dollars like they were trying to sell on oriental trading Okay, so I just got des done designing the labels. It didn't take as long as I thought. It was like 15 minutes. But anyways, here is what I came up with. So I'm going to come out with three cents so far. Um, but it's going to be called the Upside Down. So I'll look at that design. And then there's these little things on the side. I'm going to have to erase those off. But that's easy. Um, so yeah, this is the Upside Down collection. So this is Hawkins. Um, and for this one, I have like a pumpkin. Oh my gosh, let me go get the scents that I'm thinking of. Okay, so for the Hawkins scent, I have this. It's called Drunken Pumpkin. And it's very different from your average pumpkin scent. So I went ahead and pulled it up to kind of give you an idea of what it smells like. So it's fresh pumpkin, coconut, cassia, and clove with a base of dark bay bourbon, maple, toasted oak. So pretty much it smells like... A pumpkin scent but it's definitely not sweet like most pumpkin scents it's like pumpkin and like almost like a dark musky scent but I really 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 like this one because it's not sweet and it's just like a different variety of pumpkin and then I have the number 11 which is gonna be waffles so I have this little waffle silicone mold and so I'll make a whole bunch of little waffles and kind of put them in the candle and I also have some waffle soaps coming as well made by another company but that's self-explanatory waffles and syrup pretty much and then the last scent is going to be called let me okay the last scent is going to be called the creel creel house and Vic this is pretty much Victor Creel's house where Vecna lives in the underworld. This one was a little difficult for me to come up with a name because I wanted this to represent um, the Upside Down and Vecna, but obviously the collection is called Upside Down and I really didn't want to name this like Upside Down, Upside Down. So I pretty much called this Creel House because I didn't, I wasn't sure if I could use the name Vecna or something like that. So um, 
yeah so I called it Creel House so that kind of represents where Vecna's lair is and it's gonna be this one here um, Black Knight Phoenix so let me pull this one up on Lone Star to give you an idea of how this one smells okay so this is one of their newer scents and this one it smells really dark and like spooky so it's citrus mint notes of black rose spice patchouli with woodsy notes like when i smelled this i really did think of like a dark kind of dingy place which reminds me of the upside down so but it smells good like it has a fresh note in it um i really like this one so you can really smell the black rose i think that's kind of the first thing I smell and then kind of all these other things blend with it so it is a fresh scent but it's a little bit of a darker kind of fresh scent if you know what that means it's not like a bright scent like you would think of with clean laundry or something like that to me that's like a really bright and peppy fresh scent but this one is a little bit with um, has a little bit more darker notes to it so this one is called Black Knight Phoenix and that is what I'm going to use for kind of the upside down or Victor Creel kind of fragrance there. So before we move on with the rest of the video, I wanted to take a second to talk about today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. So if you all are not familiar with Skillshare, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes. And there's a range of topics on Skillshare. If you wanna learn more about business or writing a business plan, there are classes for you. Or if you want to learn more creative things, there are classes for you as well. So for me, I'm really starting to um, have more time for creative projects just like this video so I want to expand on that and learn more about all the creative things I can do so I did find this one creative writing class I have to say that is one thing that I haven't really dove into especially after writing a book I'll love to learn more about writing so I did find a creative writing class that I'm really interested in taking so the particular class I'm looking into taking is called descriptive writing crafting vivid immersive scenes by Kathy Fish so if you all are interested in checking out Skillshare and honing in on a new creative skill, feel free to check out my description because the first 1,000 people to click the link down below will get a free one month trial of Skillshare. So make sure you check it out. But anyways, thanks again Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and let's get back to it.
Okay, so I just finished the stencil and it's six o'clock right now, but I am slightly chaotic and I wanna go ahead. The plan was to just do the stencil and then to do the painting tomorrow, but I'm chaotic. <laughs> So how I did this is I bought the font and I will leave the Etsy, Etsy shop down below where I bought it. And I just um, made these with my Cricut machine. At first I was gonna freehand it and I was like, girl, that's not gonna work. So what I did was um, I uploaded the font or downloaded the font to my computer. And then in the Cricut machine, I just kind of made stencils. Um, and then, and then cut them out on cardstock. So it was super simple to do that. And I feel like you could easily do this with any font in any kind of, I'll probably be using this technique for future window designs. Um, but yeah, so it turned out really, really good. And the time that I took to, uh, to measure the window and kind of make a little grid, it really paid off because everything looks very crispy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it in. Anyways, I'm going to plan this out. And the only reason I'm doing this right now is because my son and my husband are coming home later. So I might as well just keep working, I guess. So I'm going to go ahead and knock out the painting and then just see how it goes. 